everyone and welcome once again to another video tutorial here on driving tv for today's video we will be discussing how to drive in a straight lane what methods and techniques to use in order to keep your vehicle straight and in the lane before we begin feel free to subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already so you have access to all upcoming video tutorials on driving tv Let's uh, start right ahead with this video, which is very important. So pay attention and without saying anymore, let's begin. Once we start with our driving classes, one of the most important tasks that you will have is to control your vehicle and keep it centered in the lane. Many of you have left me comments uh, regarding the difficulty that you are experiencing when it comes to keeping your vehicle centered in its lane. A lot of you tell me that you get the sense that the vehicle is larger than the lane itself or road and feel like you just can't control it. Hence why you start drifting sideways. But this is due to the amount of pressure that you're placing on the steering wheel. I will let you guys know, unfortunately, that you will be facing this difficulty the first three to four hours of driving. The reason this tends to happen to all of us at first, it's because we are new drivers and are not used to the space and vehicle. In this new class, I will provide you with an effective method though, that will hopefully help you keep your vehicle centered in the lane. So. After taking a comfortable position in the driver's seat, like seen here, your hands need to always remain semi-flexed and you need to have a comfortable grip on the steering wheel. Put your seatbelt on and make sure that you have a good reach at all of the controls of your vehicle before beginning. Let's adjust the mirrors now. The lateral mirrors of your vehicle play a fundamental role in maintaining your vehicle centered. You will adjust your mirrors in a way that you are able to see your street line like this. You will adjust your mirrors and make sure that the street border is visible. And here's an example. If I look to my right, I will be able to see the line, like the border and everything through the mirror. And if I look to my left, there it is. This is exactly what you should be seeing when you look in your lateral mirrors. Now, when starting your driving practice, I will recommend that you try to find a road where there isn't much traffic flow. Look for a street where there isn't much traffic at all and also a street that is marked with traffic lines so that that way you can calmly practice using the lines to keep your vehicle centered. Again, try to find an area to practice, which is very important that it's very calm and there isn't much traffic so you don't get nervous and so you can practice calmly. Once you begin to drive in a straight lane, try to find a point in the horizon. This is a very important method or technique that is key and could help you actually focus on the road ahead of you and not drift to the sides. So. Try to focus on a point ahead of you in the horizon, like I, I'm showing you right now. By doing this, you'll be able to look at all upcoming traffic and road signs, as well as other vehicles. Something you should notice is that you will have a tight grip on the steering wheel, which isn't very convenient, since it's applying a lot of pressure to the steering wheel. So if you feel this happening, take a deep breath and look ahead. Keep your gaze at a point in the horizon in front of you and try to also relax your hands. Another trick or technique you can use to figure out if you're keeping your vehicle centered is if you take a look at the street lines. Those lines should be somewhat aligned with the left windshield corner of the vehicle like I'm showing you here. Remember, as I mentioned you earlier, you can also check your lateral mirrors and should be able to see the same lines on the right side of uh, your vehicle as you're driving and the same thing applies to the left. So when you're driving, make sure you look at your lateral mirrors, see the lines, 
focus on the horizon and uh, th those lines align with your the corner of your left windshield. So I will tell you one thing. If you are driving and you suddenly look ahead of you and you see that the street lines are not aligned with the corner of your left windshield and they are at the center of your car, basically, as I am showing you right here, that means that you are way out of the center and too much to the left. So therefore, you should just move your steering wheel gently to the right until you see yourself centered again. One mistake that you can make is to remain staring for too long at the lateral mirrors and the street lines on the side of your road. You need to always look ahead and yes, check briefly, very briefly to make sure that you're centered and also for other vehicles, but definitely should not take you long. These checks should be done quickly and very carefully. Make sure that this is something that you practice and practice when you begin driving so you can get the hang of it. It's very important that you become comfortable with these habits because if you stay staring too long and um, at those mirrors and on your side, you will 100% lose control of your vehicle and you will start to drift off the lane quite easily. Now pay attention here. Another fundamental thing is how to keep control of your steering wheel. You should always hold and put your hands relaxed on the steering wheel using the position of 9 and 3 o'clock. Here, I have a hand on 9 and a hand on 3, like a clock with both of my thumbs facing upward. Take a look at how I'm placing it and always keep a gentle grip and relax your hands. It will definitely make it so much easier for you. It's very important to feel relaxed, to have a relaxed posture. Do not forget that. With all of that being said, I want you guys to remember that when beginning to drive is essential and crucial to learn how to keep your vehicle centered in order to proceed with everything else. Hopefully with the methods and techniques that I mentioned here, um, it will make it easier for you to learn and practice. Also, remember that practicing is very, very important in order to get used to these tricks and tips and the road itself. Um, if you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Share with anybody that you believe this might help and need to see. And don't forget to subscribe, which is completely free. Um, there's new video tutorials that are coming soon um, that might be of great help. So subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss out again on any other video. Your comments is another thing that I want to talk about. Uh, they're very, very helpful. Your feedback, it's always appreciated. So feel free to leave below anything that you want to mention or say or see in future videos. Thank you very much and have an amazing day.